Dan, stop playing Pokemon. We got a podcast to do. Fine. Dudley. And this is episode three. Yes. You have a good week? Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Got a lot of game time in this week. I didn't. I didn't as much as I like. I, I was really, really busy this week. Is well, I thing. say I got a lot of game time in. I, I got more than I have been, I guess, is what I should say. Um, mm-hmm. Probably not as much as I like, but it, yeah. it's start. Well, you know, you got to find time to, to play your games. Yeah. Uh, uh, speaking of that, what, what have we what been playing? Play, uh, well, what have we been playing? I... Well, we played a little bit of World of Tanks. World of Tanks. We're still playing that. We're still playing it a little bit. I I, I only got maybe... I, I had one evening where I, I got several yeah, games we in. played together. Yeah. Yeah, you, you uh, me, and our buddy Graham. Yep, Graham. I love Graham. Mm-hmm. I love yeah. Graham a lot. Yeah. Did I you want just... to play with him all the time. Okay, well, let's not turn this into... Anyway. A... Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, so we got some game in. I wanna, definitely want to play some more of that, and I haven't got to World of warships yet yeah uh, I, that's still on my list and i yeah, will, probably want to put a little more time into world of tank yeah I, d- I definitely want to devote you know focus mm-hmm. focus on something yeah uh if you know i i divide my attention enough as it is yeah uh you you played you played through super hot you yes. finished it you had played through it before but i now started had, it last yeah. week and i finished it now mm-hmm. you have any any comments yes uh it's the most innovative shooter i've played in years Oh yeah, it yeah I yes. agree. It yes. is very good. Well, let's move on. All right. Uh, we also tried out um, in Counter Strike Global Offensive. Mm-hmm. We they, apparently there are co op maps. Yeah, I didn't know this. Either. I did not know this was a thing. Yeah. Um, so we just we learned about it. We of course we played um, CS:GO. Well, you, you, on, you're the one that told me about it. Where did you find out about I it? I saw it online. I saw an article about it. Okay. About this map that we played. Yeah. And um, okay. And. Our buddy Graham set it up. He was checking it out, and because I sent it to our land group because we were playing CS:GO at the land, I'm like, yeah. we could have been trying this out. Yeah. And so we we gave it a go. Uh, um, Graham set it up, and the map is called Co-op Underscore Mission Underscore Haunted, and it's like this weird horror thing. It's a little yeah. cheesy. Yeah. It's a little silly, and what it I it was okay. It was interesting. It was different. Yeah. I. I wasn't too impressed with it, really. I mean, it was interesting and it would be fun. It was fun for a little while. Yeah, um, it's pretty I, difficult. It's pretty difficult, but it also repetitive in yeah. that what you you get so far and you die. Yeah, and then you have to start over, and then you start over, and then you have to do, basically redo everything you did. Mm-hmm. It shifts pretty up. Makes, a, it, it changes it up a little bit, but, but not, not enough to be keep it interesting. Yeah, and so you're just like, okay, I'm doing yeah. this again. Now we got to avoid this and this, 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 and it's. I don't know. It's okay. But um, yeah, yeah. I I had problems with, yeah, like the repetition of the, uh, yeah. the um, like. It, there, the, there's a there's a jumping kind of puzzle parkour, thing, yeah. Yeah, like a jumping Which puzzle thing where you're jumping up stairs. It's like really popular in a lot of games. Yeah, and, I don't. And once you, if you can do it, it's okay. But if you like, you know, some people were having trouble with it. Yeah, Graham. And Graham. <laughs> yeah, I had a little and, trouble and with it. You never got to the top. I never got to the top. I was getting I, there, I, but once you were getting there, I was just like, there's I, no I, point. I had, do it. I had to do that part. I had to carry the burden. Uh huh. I could have uh, done it eventually, <laughs> but. Yeah, and it just got really repetitive, and uh, yeah. I don't know. Like, maybe we should check out some more. I'm sure that there are other maps. Yeah, I would hope there are better yeah, ones. Yeah, we just went with this one because apparently it's really popular right now, and people, it's, like, on top of the workshop. But, yeah. yeah, so if you want to try it out yourself, go ahead and look it, look into it. Uh, yeah. it. It's something different, shift up. It's free. Yes, yeah, free. If you already have CSGO, just get the yeah. mod. It's mod. Yeah, it's, mod, it's, just a, it's on the community workshop. Yeah. So uh, check it out. Out. Just Apparently there's co-op maps, so if you, all, you want everyone in one team doing... Some kind of adventure together. Check it out. Yeah, uh, you played the Uncharted Four multiplayer beta. Yeah, the beta came out for this weekend. I think it's just this weekend only. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure. I downloaded it and I played it yesterday. Um, um, I haven't. I played Char- Uncharted One. Never played the multiplayer. I don't even know if there was multiplayer in the first I one. I don't. I don't have a clue. Um, I but know anyway, next I, to I haven't about played Uncharted. any of the other games. And I, but the new, new one looks great. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I got the beta just to. 
you know, try it out and fit, get a feel for it and the multiplayer. And I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. I spent a couple hours yesterday playing, mm-hmm. and it's. I felt like I've been playing it for a while. It just the controls all made sense. It was just fluid, and I had fun. Mm-hmm. Um, there is one mechanic in the game that really made me laugh really hard at one point. Oh yeah, because there's like a. In the game, you get take enough damage, you get knocked down, yeah. but you're not dead. Yeah. So you can be picked up again by yeah. a, 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 co- a, a teammate. Mm-hmm. Well, at one point, uh, we, I was playing, and we were in the heat of the battle, and there was a bunch of people in this one section just shooting at each other. And uh, I get knocked down, and so does everyone in the area <laughs> gets knocked down. So there's like five or six of us crawling around none of us can help each other and i'm just like this is ridiculous we're all just like help me help me and and, and, and there's people on our team there's people on the other team everyone just knocked each oh, other down so it's not just yeah, your team it's, it's everyone it's both sides and so we're just like crawling. and you can't shoot at each other or no something on the you can't ground? do anything you just gotta <laughs> you gotta you gotta hope someone comes and picks you up but no oh, one else in our teams wow. were around so we're just like Wow. crawling around until we die oh wow <laughs> and that's, it made me laugh really, that's really hard funny um but it's <laughs> fun it's a really good game kind of kind of has a counter strike feel to me yeah a little bit i, I came over and watched you play a little bit and like the way you kind of pick what you look like and yeah. then you pick your load load out which and then, oh, a lot of most yeah a lot of them that, are that way but like i don't know so for some reason i got a little bit of a counter strike vibe yeah it's, it's fun um mm-hmm. And the grappling hook thing is pretty cool, and I assume that's in the other game where you can grapple on something, swing across, which is also funny because I shot a guy while he was swinging, and that yeah. made me laugh because he swung up and it was like, "Oh, there's enemies there," and like didn't release, and then uh-huh. he started swinging back, and I just unloaded on him okay. and watched him drop. A lot of fun. <laughs> oh. um, so if it, I don't know if it'll be over at the weekend or not. I I have to. You're supposed to know these things. Don't I we? know. I meant to look at it and see I didn't when they end. I didn't look at this at all. <laughs> yeah, and I forgot. But uh, it, I, I'll probably keep playing as long as they'll let me. Mm-hmm. Um, so you think you'll buy the game? Um, probably. When does it come out? It comes out. It got pushed back two oh, okay. weeks, and now I can't remember what the date is. Okay. I mentioned it earlier in the podcast, in an earlier podcast, okay. but I can't remember what it is now. Okay. Um, but yeah. Yeah. A lot uh, of fun. Yeah, we we played some board games last night. Yeah. Um we we played well the first one we one of the ones we played was called uh, Dixit. Dixit, yeah. Yeah, it's D I X I T. Mm-hmm. And we played it at PAX originally. <coughs> That's where we yeah, discovered we, we it. We discovered it at PAX. Um yeah. and uh we played it again last night and what it is is it, it, you have a, the game has a stack of cards mm-hmm. and then uh, all the cards are different. They're all like they all have these various arts on them. They're like um, these kind of surrealist, uh, yeah. you know, art pieces. Every single one of them is different, and they're all kind of quirky and strange. And some of them are a little nightmarish, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. They're really strange and interesting. I I like the art alone. Um, but what happens is everyone gets six cards. Mm-hmm. Uh, it plays three to six, six players. players, and everyone gets six cards, and you. Um, Excuse me. Yeah. <coughs> and and then what happens is the first player goes and he he says a phrase or a word or just makes a sound or anything yeah. he wants that will correlate to one of his cards. And then he lays it down. Then everyone else has to pick a card in their hand that also matches with what they say. At least as close as they can get it. Some yeah. of them, a lot of times it, it won't match up at all, but you just throw whatever you want. Whatever yeah. you think will, will get someone's attention. And then what happens is they all get scr- shuffled and laid out. And then all the other players vote on which one they think the starting player uh, was the starting player's card. Yeah. And the, the scoring system is a little complex, complicated, but basically if the, if the starting player the, doesn't if, – if he, he can get w- at least one person, he gets, he gets points. Yeah. He gets more points. If he gets all – everyone guesses the right one, he, gets he no doesn't points. get any points. Because so, you don't want everyone to get it. It has to be ambiguous and, and vague enough that yeah. not everyone will get it. But if no one gets it at all – he still doesn't get any points. So he needs yeah. like a couple of people or one person. He doesn't yeah. need everybody. He's trying to get one person to, to pick it and yes. and, um, and no and no one else really. Yeah. Uh because if you get more everyone finds it, it's too yeah. obvious. Uh-huh. And I don't 
particularly care for this game. I like it. It's fun to play, but I'm terrible yeah, at it. Yeah, you just don't do well. I do terribly. You I've were, never done you were well like with this game. really doing really poorly. Because I, I look at these cards, and all I see is, like, the most obvious thing. Uh-huh. Or it's so... I'm like, oh, there's a heart on here, so I have to say something about a heart. I'm like, no, I can't say anything about a heart, because everyone will know this is mine. Uh-huh. And it's... I can't do it. And yeah. I do terribly, and I can't pick them yeah. to save my life. And well, and you also get points if your card gets picked, even if yeah. you're not the the starting player. You, yeah, you you also get points for people picking your card, even if it's the wrong card. You get yeah. a point. They don't get a point. But and it's really strange. So it's this like weird kind of balance of trying to get people to pick your card when you're not the starting player, but you're also trying to get some when you are the starting player. You want people to. Uh, pick your card. Pick your card, yeah. and but not everyone pick your card. Yeah, and it's really I like it a lot. I do really yeah. well. I won last night. So. Yeah, I, I was last. I I enjoy it. I it I like being vague and making and I what I've figured out is that a lot of times you kind of direct it at one person, like you make a reference that only that one person should yeah, get. I tried that. It yeah. didn't work. Uh, yeah, you made I, a, you I, you had a card and you made a Game of Thrones reference. I made a Game of Thrones reference, and I thought I didn't think uh, the other. Uh, the other players knew, watched, or read Game of Thrones. So I was like, I made a reference pointing at you specifically. Mm. I was like, he, he'll know this, uh-huh. and with the subtle hints and everything. And then uh-huh. you, you got yeah. it right, but so did everyone, everyone else. Everyone else got it, and, and they, they basically just they guessed. had no idea what the reference was, and they just guessed, but yeah. they got it right. And I was like, well, and I was so furious. And they were aware of Game of Thrones. They they watched the show, I believe. And yeah. but they it was a really it was kind of an obscure shirt. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sure an reference. obscure quote is yeah. what you did. Yeah, and I did a, a quote and I altered it slightly yeah. so it would you know make a little more sense. Yeah, I was uh, hoping you'd lead you down a path and yeah, you would it, take worked. it. I, it worked. I knew exactly what you were doing. But so did everyone else, but I guess. I, well, I don't. I don't know if they knew. But they, I think they all got lucky on their guesses. Yeah, I would guess that too. Uh, but Fun yeah, game, was, uh, I'm terrible at it. Yeah, <laughs> I like, and of course, when Dudley's not good at it, I automatically have an affinity for it. Yeah, cause, cause, yeah. Uh, I, mm. <laughs> uh, we also played Colt Express again, yes, which Colt we Express. talked about on our first podcast. Yes, lots uh, of fun. Which is the train robbery game. Yes. But this time we played with the expansions. Yes. Which changes it up a look quite a bit. Yes, it does. Uh, I, I like it a lot. It adds horses, mm-hmm. which run alongside of the train. Mm-hmm. And it also adds a stagecoach that, that also runs that runs outside the horses that starts at the front of the train and moves back a car every round. And it also adds another marshal guarding a, another lockbox on sitting on top of the train. Mm-hmm. So there's more money there, but there's also hostages inside yeah. the stagecoach. And you well, can jump on the stagecoach and get a hostage, but they give you a penalty, like you can't move as far or yeah. you can't use some of your abilities yeah, or something I like that. that. And you get money, though, for, for having them to yeah. the end of the, the yeah, game. Yeah, I, I jumped on the case, stagecoach and got a old lady Yeah, um, who I referred to for the rest of the game as my old lady. Your old lady, yeah. Um, she gave me $500. <laughs> um, and well, no, no, she didn't give you $500. Well, she, I'd like ransomed. to think, oh, you think she, she gave me $500. You think she just handed you, uh, she just For services opened her rendered. Per- <laughs> um but I gave so she did that, but she also made it where I could only move on. I'm on top of a train car; I can only move one car at a time. Yeah, normally you can move three. Yeah, but I was able to kind of get around that using yeah. horses. And yeah, it, it was really it the horse. The horses were pretty cool. Yeah, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. I liked it a lot. I think it. I, I don't. I don't think. Re- I wouldn't recommend like if you're first time playing Colt yeah. Express, play, to play the with the expansion. Game. Yeah, because play the it adds a lot first. more to it that makes it a little complicated. There's a lot more yeah. rules. But if you just yeah, if you're first time playing it, play the base one. But once you kind of get it under your belt and everyone knows what they're doing, play with the expansion because it adds a lot. My favorite thing about it was the uh, the in the last card. Oh yeah, yeah. The last we didn't round. know about this until yeah, we were the, playing. The last round, I think it was just for that card. The last round had a stipulation in the card that everyone had to make an escape. Yes. And what with them normally when you at the end of the round you just the round ends everyone everyone Whatever tallies money you up have, you yeah, win. everyone tallies up their money and whoever has the most wins. Well, in this one it said you had to get off the train either by a horse or being on the stage code. You couldn't be on the train. Anyone left on the train loses, loses automatically. Yeah, because they get caught, they're arrested. Yeah, and I'm like, so it turned went from you know trying everyone scrambling to grab as much money at, at, before the round ends to. 
people grabbing a little bit of money, but everyone trying to find their escape route, jumping on the uh, horses, on horses, or where the, moving where there's a horse and trying to get on yeah. it. And, and I was sure somebody was going to get left behind. It was close. It was really it was close. Really close. But no, we managed all to get away. But yeah, it was, it was, I was lucky. There was two horses right next to yeah. me, so I just grabbed the money back and jumped yeah. on it. Where I started that round, there was no horse near me, mm-hmm. and so I ended up having to. Jump! I went and jumped and jumped over onto the stagecoach. I got away on the stagecoach, which yeah. I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, I ended up winning that game. Yeah, I got so second. I enjoy it. I got second. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, I yeah I would have enjoyed it yep. if I had lost. But uh, D- Dudley only rates a game high if he yeah, wins that. Yes, if I win it on the first time we play it, then yes, I like it. <laughs> Did you uh, win the first time we played? No, uh, oh, okay. not the not at PAX. I okay. didn't win that one. First time playing the expansion. Though. First time playing the expansion. Okay, so A plus. Uh, <laughs> well, um, okay, moving we, on. Yeah, let, um, well, there, there's, there's another game we've been playing this week. Yes, we've been, we've been both playing Pokemon Yellow. Yes, which has was um, re-released, re-released on uh, the Nintendo eShop. Yeah, it's red, ye- it's red, blue, and yellow are all on there for yeah. nine ninety nine. Yeah, which is the original game from ninety yeah, six. Yeah, from twenty years ago. Uh, well, ninety six was when it was released in Japan. It was released in America in ninety eight. Ninety eight. Yeah, that yeah. sounds about right. Because that's about um, when we were playing. I have notes, so I sound smart. Oh uh-huh. yeah, that it. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> I I knew it. It came. I knew there was uh, like ninety six was yeah. the release date. I didn't know when it released in America. Yeah, ninety eight was when it yeah. released here. That's Which, when we played. Yeah, it. that's when we played it back so, when we were in uh, seventh grade. Seventh grade. Yeah, we were in seventh we were grade. In seventh grade. I, I thought played. about it. Well, see, we played red. Yes, originally. I had red. You had red. Uh-huh. And our, our older brother, brother had had uh, blue. Had blue. And then we got yellow later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yellow which came, came out uh, the in ninety nine. Yeah, a year later. And we got yellow. In America. I was originally gonna when, when I looked at the eShop and I heard that that they, these were back up. I was like immediately I have to get it because Pokemon's always about nostalgia for me. Yeah. Even when I buy the new ones, the only reason what, the main reason I bought the last one what was it called um, X and Y X and Y. The reason I bought it was solely because you could get the original one of the original starter Pokemon. Yeah, and that, you get two in that. Yeah, one. you get two starter Pokemon yeah. in that one, and I bought it because I was like, I can get Squirtle again. Yes, please. Yeah, and uh, yeah, because uh, I I and it was great because there were three of us, the, mm-hmm. me, you, and Robert, mm-hmm. and I played Squirtle. I had Charmander, and, yeah, and Robert played. Uh, 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 I, what's uh, this first? Bulbasaur. Oh, Bulbasaur. Yeah. Bulbasaur. The, is the first the, one. The plant. And so we each had all three of them, which was yep. kind of cool. We were all, yeah, that was kind of our, we'd yeah. always kind of stick to that. Yeah. It wasn't until the last one that we, we someone did. changed. I can't remember. I think Robert changed. Maybe. We no, 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 you little, changed it. Maybe. I don't For the remember. Mo- I always went with the fire-based one mm-hmm. or the red yeah, I one. Yeah, I didn't like the water-based one. Yeah, the last that's, one. that's what it was. And I knew I was going to get Squirtle, so yeah. I didn't get, I got, I, I, I don't remember if I started with the fire or the, or the, the plant one. Yeah. But anyway, the I was originally when I they were gonna re release it, I immediately like, yep, they're gonna get my money. Yeah. Because it's I it's, it's ten bucks. Yeah, it's ten bucks. Time. Why would I not buy it? Yeah. And then I was gonna my original plan was to get red because that's the original one I played. I yeah. just wanted to play the exact same game I played originally. And but then uh, our buddy Graham was telling us yeah. that well, he's no, getting no, a lot sh- of mentions yeah, today. Yeah, well you know, he's he's deep in my heart. Uh-huh. Um the um uh, he mentioned that he reminded us that uh, in yellow you can get all of the original three starters. Yeah. So it's the best one. Yeah. And then they're all the same game basically. Well, yellow yellow's easier. Tweaks. Yeah, yellow's a little easier, but it, it has a few tweaks. But they're in the same places. They're yeah. most of the same Pokemon are there. So yeah, so I got yellow. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I did too. I got yellow as for basically the same reason. Yeah. I might go back and get red later. Um. Just yeah, for maybe. nostalgic sake. Um. But uh. I've been playing it differently than yeah. usual. Yeah. Um, what, I was told tell about uh, Graham again. He our, told our, buddy, our Graham. buddy Graham. He told us about a cha- a hard mode mm-hmm. version of the game, the self-imposed. Yeah. And I started reading about it, and I was intrigued by it. So I'm I'm doing it. I'm playing the game mm-hmm. this way. So basically, it's called the uh, oh, how am I going to say this wrong? Nuzlocke. Nuzlocke. Nuzlocke challenge. challenge. Yeah. Um. It's based on a, a a comic. A guy made a comic, and he started playing Ruby. I think it was in 2010. It was Pokemon Ruby, and he was bored apparently, and he did web comics, he, or he started doing web comics. He went about playing Pokemon, but he put these self-imposed rules on himself while playing it to make it harder because he mm-hmm. he was bored with playing it normally. So I was like, okay, uh, I'll do this. So I 
looked at the rules and and uh it is harder so, it, so you're, it, you are playing it this way right? yes i am playing it right now this okay. way so so what are the rules the what rules do? are they're pretty basic but they also uh change things here i'll give you the list here okay Rule one, any Pokemon that faints is considered dead and must be released or put in the Pokemon store system permanently. Yeah. Which I just release them. Yeah, so if it faints, you just let it go. Yeah, and if you it faints, never go back to it. You take it to the PC, you load it into PC, and then release. That's it. Um, it's, gone. it's gone. It's you gone. You don't play with it I don't ever play with it ever okay. again. Uh, which has already happened once. What was it? It was a Rattata. Yeah. I got it. I catch... Uh, Oh, it, and I captured it, and it I fainted in the first battle. <laughs> it was level three. He was really low. He, I fought one. Fought, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go level you up so you can be strong. Yeah. And, and he he died. Um, but <laughs> you're gonna be my number one guy. <laughs> uh, he uh, he died. Um, so I had to let him go. Uh-huh. Uh, the next rule is you may only catch the first Pokemon encountered in each area. Like and each none, route? And yeah, each area. Oh, so like in town. Yeah, like, so you like... can... So each route, each town, if there's a little grass area, you can... The first Pokemon you see... That's you, the only you, one you That's can the only one you're allowed to capture. Okay, so if you see one, mm-hmm. and let's say it's a Pidgey. Yeah. And... You see it, you have to try to capture that one specifically, or yes. can you try to capture Pidgeys later? No, it has to be it that one. It has to be one. that one. So the yes. first one you see, you have to be prepared to capture. Yes. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, if you don't have Pokeballs, you it, don't can't you capture can't. it. It's gone. It's yeah. done. So it's, if it faints or runs away, uh-huh. you don't get any Pokemon from that area. Okay. So there's not that many areas in the game. Well, no. Um, the whole point is to limit how many Pokemon you have. Uh-huh. Draw, uh, be more attached to your Pokemon. Uh-huh. Um, also, not just like catching everything. And, okay. You know, so it's a be- way of limiting yourself. Um, as I mentioned, I've already had one Pokemon faint. Mm-hmm. Well, you, I wasn't sure on the Pokemon Yellow. There was the you have the first area you go through, and you don't have Pokeballs yet, and so mm-hmm. you can't catch anything there. Mm-hmm. And then you go. So I just took it as I can't catch anything in that area. Yeah. Uh, I guess I, you know, could have gone back and do that's kind of a, a vague area, but yeah. I just thought I'm not going to catch anything in there. I've yeah. already seen something get fainted. It died. Yeah. So I went on, got Pokeballs, and well, so based on where I'm at now, I could have three Pokemons. Yeah. Because there's uh, the forest, mm-hmm. uh, the route, uh, and the, uh, well, the city, forest, and then a route. Mm hmm. Oh, no, 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 it's two areas, and then a the starting Pokemon. Yeah. So, I should have three right now. Yeah. Which I did, very briefly. <laughs> I I had my Pikachu that I started with, uh-huh. and then I had a a, 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 a Caterpie. Oh, okay. You got I Caterpie. caught in the you forest. Ca- okay, a Caterpie. A Caterpie. Um, he since evolved to a Metapod, and a, he's now a Butterfree. Okay. Um, he's at a level 11. Uh-huh. Pikachu's at 11 as well. Uh-huh. Um, but then I... The little area, there's a little grass area in the town. And I was like, okay, I can go catch a Pokemon there. Mm-hmm. And that's where I caught the Rattata. And uh, he was level three. And I was like, oh, I caught him really easy. Went back, healed him, took him right back to the grass. I was like, I'm going to train you up so I can have three people to face the gym. Yeah. Yeah, the first um, gym where you fight Brock. Yeah, the first gym where you fight Brock. Mm-hmm. And he fainted. <laughs> so I lost them. So now I have two Pokemon, and I have to face the entire gym with just those two Pokemon. Well, you're in luck. Have you gone in there yet? I have not. I, there is one. I know there's one. Yeah, you have to fight. Well, you don't have to. You can walk around. Yeah, but there's only I probably one trainer will fight him in just... there, and then Brock. So you don't yeah. have to like fight a lot. Yeah. Um, but he's a tough one for for Yellow yes. because you know well, your first Pikachu type is... is pretty much useless against him. Yeah. And um, so you're and pretty much going to rely on your, your Butterfree. Yeah. Well, thankfully, I've leveled up enough to where at level 11, he gets quick attack. So he should be able to do a little bit of damage. A dude. little bit. It's, um, it's not a lot. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I'm just, right now, uh, I'm leveling them up, trying to get them as high as I can stand it to be playing, yeah. fighting little Pokemon you're, over you're and over. You're grinding right now. Yeah, I'm grinding. I'm leveling <laughs> to uh, get him up to fighting ch- uh, shape so I can fight the yeah, uh, gym leader, and yeah. hopefully win. Because the other rule is, mm-hmm. if all your Pokemon faint, mm-hmm. and you white out or black out, uh, it's black out and yellow. But uh, if that happens, you start over. 
Game's yeah, you're over. game over. Game at over. the end. Even if you have Pokemon that's like, in your PC, that's your lives. Yeah, you're done. Okay. So see, I don't want that, that rule to alone. See, when you told me about this originally, yes, I had just loaded up Yellow and I was just starting it. And I said, I said to myself, maybe I'll do this, right? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. it might be fun, like you know, just to make it a little harder on myself. Yeah. And I started. I got my Pikachu, and you go into your first battle with with your rival, right? Yeah. And uh, and I we go to fight, and I immediately lost. Mm-hmm. I. I- I, I don't, don't even think, know how you do that. I don't know. It's like, it, he attacked me. I attacked it. Which is weird, because and, you should attack first. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Like, we all uh, Every attack. time I've ever played it, you attack first. Yeah, some weird reason. It was, I don't I don't know what happened. He attacked me first, so I got hit hurt first. And then, so, it just back and forth that, because it's not like we had a lot of, of, of options, options yeah. at the beginning. And then, Pikachu fainted. And that was the end of the first battle. I lost it, and so I was like, "Wait, so by that ru- by these rules, I would have been done then, yeah, right then, that moment, I was done before in the first battle." I never seen that happen. What happens in the game when you f- lose? I wipe out, and then I just go back to the map like nothing happened. Like okay, if, so you, you yeah. just go back to your what the I'm. It, it's like I, it, you know, if you win, you're still standing there, or whatever. And it oh, they, it just no, goes it back to standing at the cable yeah, or whatever. Yeah, you just it didn't reset or anything. It just went back to us standing there, and my rival walked off, and you know, I just went about like nothing happened. My Pikachu was already fully oh. healed already. So you can keep playing even after yeah, you lost. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, I. Could I've just, always won that first battle. Yeah, I, I, I never lost it before either, and I was like, well. If I were playing playing the hard mode, I would have just immediately started over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I decided not to play the challenge yeah. and just to play the game. And I I'm, I think I'm gonna go try to get a hundred percent. I think I'm gonna get all try to. My goal is to catch every Pokemon I see and try to capture all 151. Yeah, which is not possible for me in this challenge. Yeah, but I'm possible. hoping I'll create a bond with me in these you know whatever pokemon yeah, I catch. The, the, uh, it's, I, it's gonna I be like 20 i think by the end of the game if i catch all if of you them catch all of them i don't i had to have encountered the areas and there's gonna be the 20 most common ones too probably see? yeah and i like, i was really disappointed because <laughs> the little grass in the first city uh, that you see like a night uh-huh. or a, a yeah or i can't remember the other one the few, well the, the, there's, there's the two, two genders them. but they both are called night okay on the first one well yeah so i i those i i keep running into those now and i'm like oh, why can i have one of those mm-hmm. instead of i have one of those and i was like uh that would have been a great uh-huh. starter yeah, my my um, team but, consists yeah. of currently consists of a of course Pikachu, yeah. Uh, a Butterfree, mm-hmm. who I who was super helpful. Yeah. In the in the, um, the I, Brock. in yeah. fighting Brock because yeah. the first time I went in there, I got I got my ass handed to me and it was not not pretty. Yeah. And so I had I was like I I had to grind a little bit, get them leveled up, and I got my Metapod evolved to a Butterfree, which gives her confusion, and I can actually fight him. But uh, and then I have a I had a Pidgey, but I've since P- I've since boxed her, and now I have a sp- uh, a Spiro. Okay. Because they look cooler. <laughs> That's the only reason. Pidgeys, I, it's so hard for me to look at a Pidgey and think this is not a a pigeon. Well, like, it, I, I just look at a Pidgey and I better. just think, yeah, I know, but I just look at the Pidgey and go, this is just a Pidgeon. It's not a Pokemon. It's just a Pidgeon. Yeah. Just like the uh, Ekans, it's just a snake. <laughs> yeah. Well, they always done that. I know. Even the but newer ones. I, there was one. I was just like, "This is just a cow." I can't even remember what uh, it's milk called. Milk tank. Milk. Ta- is that what it's it, name? Is that really his name? That's his name. Oh god. Milk tank. That's just a cow. It's, it's just a cow. A little cute cow walking on his hind legs. Oh god. But um, no. But at oh. least it's different because it's walking on his hind legs. While you know the Ekin, it's just a snake. There's nothing special about it other than its name is backwards. <laughs> It's snake backwards. Did you ever notice that? No, I never realized that. I yeah, never uh, thought and, about it. And the it. evolution is cobra backwards. Oh. Well, I have never paid oh, any attention. Oh, you've never to... noticed? No. 20 years and you've never, <laughs> never noticed that Eakin was snake backwards. No. Yeah. We're covering the dumb part of this. Yes. <laughs> we got the dumb for the episode. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, that's crazy. I never thought about it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> It, it, the game's 20 years old. I didn't think about things at that time. I was just like, let's, let's fight these things. Yeah. Um, we were really into Pokemon. At the world world yeah, world. seventh grade. Yeah. Uh, we played with our buddy Graham. Our we buddy Graham. Still, that, we yeah, we, you, you had just, just met be, him. We had just met him then. Yeah, so. We have a long, rich history. Yeah. 
Oh, Pokemon and Graham. Uh, Pokemon and Graham. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and and we collected the cards too. Yes. We yes. never played the game, but we never played the it. Cards. But we did collect the cards mm-hmm. and still got them. We still have them. They're worthless. They're well, well mostly. I mean, they're worth a, a very little. Yeah. But I ha- almost had a full set. I'm pretty close. I have almost mm. all. I have all, a lot of them. There's a couple of really rare ones. I yeah. Don't have. I you know I, I it drove me nuts because my I I was always a big I love Squirtle. Mm-hmm. And Blastoise was my favorite Pokemon. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a giant turtle with cannons coming yeah. out of his shoulder. How could you not want? How could you want anything else? It's the yeah. coolest Pokemon ever. Yeah. And that so you know, get collecting the cards. Did you get one? No, no, I never <laughs> did. That's the only one I cared about. If I got that one, I probably would have stopped trying to collect them. Yeah. But I own almost a whole set because I try. And it, and it turns out it's the one of the most rare ones of the yeah, whole it's set. One of the it's hardest like one the to hardest get. one to get. Yeah. And because I could not, and I wanted it so bad. Mm-hmm. I had, I had a Charizard. Yeah, I, I, a Charizard. I had a a a, a Bulbas- No, not Bulbas- uh, Ivy. Is Ivysaur? Ivysaur is the last. Oh or wait, Venusaur. Bulbasaur. Ivysaur. Venusaur. Venusaur. I don't remember. I don't remember what the order is on that one. Yeah. I didn't play it. Uh, that was. I Robert's think Venusaur is the last. Uh, one. But I, I had one of those, and I could not find a Blastoise. That's yeah. All I wanted. Mm-hmm. Still all Have I you thought want. about going on eBay now and buying one? I'm afraid to look. It's probably worth a lot. Um, I think it's it is the, one of the rare ones. I want to say it's like maybe twenty bucks. But twenty bucks? I looked at it at one point, but it's been a mm. it was a while back. Do I want to spend twenty bucks to complete my childhood? Probably not. It's happiness to me, Dudley. That's a weird thing to be happy about, or required to have be happy. Let's move on. Yes. <laughs> okay. Since we've been talking about Pokemon, there's news about Pokemon. Yes. Um, so this year um, is the 20th anniversary mm-hmm. of the original release of Pokemon, the mm-hmm. red, blue, and yellow, which is why it's on the eShop. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's been 20 years. Um, well, they um, announced recently that the, they're putting out a new Pokemon mm-hmm. a game called Pokemon Sun and Moon. Yeah, uh-huh. which is, I think, a good title. Yeah. I didn't really go for... X and Y was just kind of... Generic. Generic. I, I like black and white, especially since they covered a lot of, like, ethical questions in black and white, which yeah. I thought was interesting. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Sun and Moon, I think, is a good good set of names. I always yeah. wonder when they're going to run out of, you know, names for these things. Yeah. It got leaked first, though, Yeah, right? it was leaked because I think there was a trademark registration for yeah, it and, then, and so, so someone on so, yeah the internet, they had the logos for them yeah and so they they had trademark uh marks for them and then they released it got someone on the internet found it yeah there are people who do this thing yeah and they put it out there and then not long after that uh, it was a fit announced officially yeah um like a, very quickly yeah and uh but yeah there's some speculation of what it's gonna be mm-hmm. um they've uh, they've announced a few things but uh it will probably be a generation, the seventh generation of Pokemon, so mm-hmm. there'll be new ones. Okay. Um, because they usually do like you know each new iteration, they will introduce a bunch of new Pokemon, and then uh, so we'll have another set of 151, which will be mixed with some of the old ones. But mm-hmm. um, so likely it will be the seventh generation. Um, and and because a lot of people were speculating they were going to come out with a. A Z, a Pokemon Z. Oh yeah, like because, the third one. Because yeah, a lot of times so they do that. They yeah. do the two, and then they do the one. Yeah. So everyone was speculating that they were going to do that next, yeah. but they they didn't. They're doing uh, this. Yeah, they didn't come out with a uh, with a, a Pokemon Gray. <laughs> no, they did. They came out with Black and White too, though. They did do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which I, I don't think I played at I all. Didn't, I didn't play. It um, I skipped. I, Every, most of Pokemon. We I, played a lot of them. I, I would get, get one every once in a while. Yeah, I, I played black and white a little bit. I don't remember which one I had. I, I think I had white. I played it a little bit. Yeah. And then um, I I bought... They, they got me with X and yeah, Y I did get, because... I got one of them. I can't remember which one I, I have. I believe I got Y. And I got the other one. Yeah. So X. Uh, and they got me with that because of nostalgia. Yeah. And uh, But yeah, and uh, so... But the interesting thing is, because they released the uh, red, blue, and yellow on the eShop, mm-hmm. well, with the new one, you'll be able to transfer your Pokemon from those games to Sun and Moon. Oh, yeah? Yeah, by using the uh, Pokemon Bank 
which yeah. is also on the eShop. Yeah. Um, you can get it, and you can that's way to you store, can store your po- stuff. There. You can store Pokemon on it, and then access it from the new ones. Yeah, and you'll be able okay. to access it from the new game. That's cool. Which is, sounds great. Yeah. Um, so you can get all the original Pokemon, mm-hmm. and then. Uh, transfer I, it yeah. onto the new one. And while, while I'm always happy they're making new Pokemon games, yes, I have mixed feelings because I'm such an old guy. I'm so loyal. I know <laughs> oh. the. I know. I know the 151. Yes, uh, the original 151. It's I the know only them. ones I know. I know them, like and so like every and it's always the thing when I get into the new games, <clears throat> they're always good games. Yeah, but I get all these new Pokemon. A lot of them seem silly to me, even though mm. the old ones were silly. Yeah, uh, and. I only get really excited when I see one I know. Yeah. And even when it's like a Pidgey or something, or a Rattata or something, I'm just like, oh, yeah, I know this one. And yeah. I get excited, but I just, I don't know, it's so hard for me to, to I have not completed one of the new ones in a, in a long time. Yeah, I haven't either. Yeah. Um, they're fun to play. They are they're, fun to play. They're nostalgic, and I enjoy them. Um, mm. But the... I like that the X and Y finally went 3D. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was interesting. It was kind of weird. It was weird. It, t- it um, took me a little bit to get used to. But yeah, um, the uh, and I'm sure the new one will be extra 3D or something. Mm, no, but uh, there was they showed some concept art in, for the new game. Oh yeah, um, that showed vehicles in the game. And oh, so yeah. something more bigger than a bicycle? Yeah. So since the original game it's always been a bicycle and then later they had roller skates and Yeah. Um so people are wondering, are you gonna be able to drive a car in this new mm. one or you know, and they so that's kind of a that's something weird. running around on okay. the internet right now. So you, you, you can you you just drive down the road. I don't know. And we don't know. On? All they showed was a con- little concept art and that was it. And so like, people are wondering Road kill Pokemon? And it could just be Cars and vehicles in the game that are just sitting there. Which just, X and Y had some trucks just like sitting just on the road. Just thinking about capturing Pokemon by hitting them with my car. Yeah, maybe. It'll, they're <laughs> just they're just doing a whole uh, uh, a road uh, road uh, themed Pokemon. So yeah. you got road okay. kill and <laughs> or it would be like kill road. How about a, a reed? A reed. It's it's a deer. <laughs> it's a deer back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> you hit a reed with your car. Have they had a deer in the game yet? I'm sure there is. Uh, I, I'm pretty certain. It. Yeah, I, I know. I one. know. I've seen one that I don't know what it's called. Which I know I've seen one that looks like a deer. Yeah, but uh, more probably more than one that looked like yeah. a deer. So but, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm looking forward to this game. And it, it's they said, or if they said it would be holiday 2016 when it comes out. Which, which it, holiday? <laughs> like two, holiday 2016. Yeah, okay. So that season. Okay, so like... So like anywhere from like September the end of year, to... Okay. It'll probably be In the fall there. sometime? Yeah. Okay. Which which would be great. I, it's a good time for a game to come out. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I, I'll have to wait and see what... what see if they hook... They, they, they um, hit my nostalgia bone and get me I, to play it. I think just being able to take the, whatever Pokemon I have in yellow right uh-huh. now and move them over to that. What few you might have. <laughs> what few I might have. <laughs> but I will have hopefully drawn attached to them if I haven't died and yeah. you know, had to quit the game, start <laughs> over. In that case, I'll start over and just mm-hmm. play it normally and yeah. get a bunch of cool Pokemon. Oh. Uh, well, yeah, we've talked pretty, about Pokemon a lot. Yeah. So let's, a lot let's, of Pokemon today. Yeah, a lot of Pokemon. Uh, let's, let's move forward a little bit. Okay. Um, the other thing that was announced this last week was a um, a combat update for Minecraft. Yeah, I don't know anything about this. Yeah, it's, it's 1.9, um, which we were real. We got into Minecraft, like, late alpha. Yeah, yeah, yeah late alpha. So Just we, before it turned to beta. Yeah, we, right we, like we were, right, right before it turned, went to the beta, uh, and we, we liked it a lot. Yeah, we bought into it. I haven't played it in a while. It's been... It's been a few months since I've played it. It's been about six months. Yeah, six or seven months since I've played it. We, but we played it hardcore for a long time. Like, yes. I probably... I'm glad there's not an hours counter on Minecraft because I would probably have like 300 hours in Minecraft. I wouldn't doubt it'd be more. Yeah, but yeah, I'm I'm saying on a I'm lowballing it. Here a <laughs> yeah, bit. Um, you're trying to seem like you have a I, life. I don't. <laughs> but um, but yeah, let me read you the things that are like I've read some of the updates. And a lot of times it's like, oh, they added carrots, and I'm like, I don't care. Yeah, and so it hadn't been enough to get me back playing it again. But this one sounds interesting. I ha- may have to go back. I haven't played it yet, but I'm definitely probably going to play it. Out? Is it out? I believe already? it's out. Okay. I think I think they announced it and released it. Okay. I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. But let me, let me read you the things. Um, 
Okay, now you can reset the Ender Dragon in the inn. So okay. You can fight him more than once. Okay, that's cool. Um, I guess. The, yeah. I only did it like once. Yeah, I don't think I ever did it. The um, it, there's also like the little isle, floating islands in the end. They there's infinite generation generating. It infinitely generates more of those. Okay. So you can actually travel around it. There's also there's these weird trees that grow there. There's also an in city. You know how in, in yeah, you uh, got villages and stuff. Well, you're not like villages, but you know how in um in the Nether yeah, there's, there's fortresses. The fortresses. It's kind of like that, except because it's the in city. It's in there, but there's also like a like a weird ship thing that's on it, like a like okay, a part of it, and you can find like there's a new mob there, um, and there's like the, it's called the Elytra. I don't know if you saw it. They they had teased it earlier. It's a it's a weird cape type thing, wing thing you can get there. Yeah. And it allows you to glide. Yeah. You can kind of fly and like glide and stuff. That, yeah. So you can find that there. Um, and then there's also, here's the thing that caught my attention. This, so far I was like, yeah, whatever. But now there's dual wielding. Okay. And you That's have a, a main hand slot, which is like what you, you've been using, like with your sword and pickaxe. But you also have an off hand slot in your inventory. So you can, they have added shields. So you can have a shield where you can use for fighting. Okay. Um, they've also added different types of arrows and arrow tips. And so they're going Zelda with it with the fire arrows. Yeah. So when and... you you can you can equip your arrows in your offhand, and then you, when you use the bow, it'll use that arrow. Instead, in before it was just like it just grabbed a random arrow out of your inventory. Yeah. You still do that if you don't have one in your offhand. Okay. But now you can actually pick which arrows you go, and there's different types you can use. Okay. What um, kind of types of arrows are there? Oh, I don't know. You I, I don't see it on this list. Okay. I know I saw it somewhere, but I can't. I can't I don't, it's not I'm assuming there's a fire arrow. That's kind of a given. Maybe. That's I know good. there's... I don't know. It may just be like the types, like kind of like the iron and... and oh, okay. And, but so I think they're there stronger. Are, yeah, stronger and I, I think so. Tips. And I think okay. there's also like... There are some effect ones as well. Okay. All right. That's uh, interesting. And then... Um, let's see. There's... Uh, in cold biomes, there are igloos that'll generate now. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of cool. That's cool, right? Build but, igloos, so yeah. they're snow blocks. Or uh-huh. And they added beets and a thing called in, beets, in crystals, like, the, like beet roots. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, it w- and there's a new soup. Oh, and okay. Little things like that. There's a bunch of little things like that. Um, there, there's a lot of like little sound and a lot of oh. kind of technical yeah, well, they stuff they always come up with, but. There's a lot of little things in it, but it found I, the dual wielding thing really. So the big thing for me that I was like, this is amazing. Because at first I yeah. thought, oh, it's just so you can hold a shield. But no, yeah. you can hold, you know, whatever. So I, you can be p- working in a mine with a pickaxe and hold torches in your left hand. And you can place torches as you go. Oh, There's no more, so... like, switching back and forth. Yeah, or, gotten... like, you know, you can have a pickaxe and, and a sword, I guess, in one hand. So you're okay. ready to fight anything that happened to come you know, creeping up on you. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Then I won't have to use my little scroll yeah. quickly to a torch and place yeah. it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I may have to load it up and and try it out just to yeah, check out the, the changes. Yeah, I'd I'd be into that. Yeah. We'll play that so again. So we, we may we maybe we'll we'll get it, hop on and and see see what we get into. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that's cool. I yeah. I enjoy Minecraft. It's been a while since I played, but yeah. Um, because they've been bought by. Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft now. Yeah. And I guess... Not sold it to, to not Microsoft yeah, for, so it, for more than Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was it was greater than one Star Wars. Yes. Um, <laughs> that is true. Um, and Star or all that came with all the other stuff. Well, yeah. You know, not yeah, just I, I Star Yeah, I mean Wars. the entire Star Wars franchise and LucasArts and all yeah. that stuff. But, you know. Yeah, it's more than just Star Wars. <laughs> but, again, that diminishes Star Wars a little bit and makes... <laughs> But Mojang bigger, but it doesn't seem like they're changing anything. Well, it's not about so much it. Mojang because I mean their other games were were interesting, but it's just Minecraft. Yeah, Mine- they wanted. Minecraft. They bought a generation. Yes, that's what they did. Yes, like I mean we're we're kind of, you know, we played Minecraft quite a bit, but we're kind of the, we're too old. For we're it, really. <laughs> we're kind of the old people for Minecraft. Like pretty much anyone who's like from six to twelve, that's all they play. They yeah. play tons of Minecraft. All mm-hmm. of our cousins play it. Some a lot of our friends' kids play them, um, yeah. and with yeah, which is cool. I mean, they're yeah, Legos, good, yeah. basically. Yeah, right? basically. Yeah. We grew up with Legos. They they got Minecraft, yeah. and we like Minecraft. We play it. Um, but it, 
it, it that's a whole thing and i guess mm. they're not changing how they're working because that's just yeah they're the just normal adding, thing add, yeah keeping keeping stuff coming out they'll keep oh that's keep cool it going. oh um moving on yeah let's move on all right um in other news um yeah. a there's a a unofficial remake of metal gear solid yeah it be, that was being made in the unreal 4 engine yeah which um, looked all right. Which looked pretty good. I I went back and looked at it. It looks really. It looked really good. Yeah. Um. Really pretty. Yeah. I remember well, seeing it being announced. It was. Yeah. It's, it's they, called Shadow Moses. It's right? Called Shadow Moses. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is the island that the first game is set in. Mm-hmm. Um. So you're you're playing Snake again. Yeah. Uh. Looked pretty good. The uh, it was started development in October 2015. Mm-hmm. Um. They and they should. This is early development. We're doing it. Well, just this week, it was shut down. Yeah, it's just it, it's gone. The they posted on Facebook that uh, um, they had an appointment announcement, and we we have to cancel Shadow Moses project for reasons beyond our control. Yeah, and well, and, uh, the and up until this said, point, they just been they were actually teasing like. Yeah, so they, they were, were soon. They were going to be making a big announcement. Yeah, soon. they said they were going to make a big that, announcement in on the fourteenth of this yeah. month, October. Yeah, uh, they, March. they were going to come um, out with a big announcement about yeah. the game, but then, now, and then and now out of they, nowhere, it's just, just out of done. nowhere. They said uh, for reasons that we uh, beyond our control, we have to sh- we shut down, which we assume is Konami. We assume it's Konami. Um, they hasn't. There's no official say in that. They yeah. haven't. No, Konami hasn't come out and said anything about it. Which yeah. why would they? Um, and then neither has the developers said yeah. anything about them. They just, um, they just said we're we're it's out of our control. We're not yeah, doing it anymore. They said we we shut it down. Well, that's a which is really disappointing. Yeah, because um, I was kind of curious just to see what it looked. Yeah, see, well, I just more just exploring the environment more yeah, than anything. It looked pretty good just yeah. on the what the video mm-hmm. they put out. Um, the um, because Metal Gear Solid, love Metal Gear Solid. The yeah. original games were a lot mm-hmm. of fun. I would love for them to remake mm-hmm. it. And uh, a we can thank our buddy Graham for getting us into Metal Gear. Yes, yeah, yes. I own. You want to talk about something he's obsessed with? Yeah. Well, yeah. That's half our text talking about Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Um, but they, <laughs> we, uh, I own three copies of the original game. <laughs> Physical copies. Yeah. I have other copies on PSP and. Uh, elsewhere, but I own that many copies. Yeah, um, I do like the game. Okay, so let's talk about who's obsessed here. Yeah, yeah. well, uh, you know, it's a good game. Yeah. Um, but the it's it's interesting. They even kind of foresaw this coming because mm-hmm. they said uh, they put out way back. They put out that Konami owned the copyrights, and therefore sooner or later they will have to get permission from them. Mm-hmm. Um, um, and they said. This is why they announced that they that we've yeah. sh- we've ch- there's a quote we have ch- therefore chosen to openly share this project from from the beginning so that we can deal with any issues that may arise as they come. Mm-hmm. Um, we believe this is a better this is better than putting years of work into a project only to be shut down. Yeah, which almost is exact, exactly, exactly what happened. Exactly. It's they yeah. put a year well, into it, it yeah. and they got shut down. Yeah. Um, well. But, At least they didn't get that far into it, I guess. Yeah, a year in a video game development is not long. Yeah. Not long at all. Um, it sucks that they got shut down yeah. and makes... And I, I one of... I, it's got to be Konami. I mean, yeah. who else... Why else would it be? Yeah. Unless the main people working on it had some issues or yeah, something. Maybe. But, or maybe. Who knows? Until um, they say something, I guess we won't know. Yeah. Um, Konami's had made some weird decisions in the last Yeah. Year I don't want to so. get into all that. But that's... That's that. Um, yeah. Well, let's uh, let's have some good news. Good news. Yeah. Or at least for me, All as right. someone who's excited about this, No Man's Skies has an ac- a, an official release date. Yes. We knew it was coming out June. We talked about it on episode one. Yes. Uh, and now we have an, a date. It's June twenty first for PC and PS four. Uh, you can get it on the PSN uh, network. The PlayStation Network. Yeah. Or uh, and or you can buy a physical copy for their PS4. They have a limited edition that comes with like a steelbook case and a an art book yeah. and um, and like a comic book and some extra stuff in the game. I think. Yeah. So I'm trying to sell this for you if you want to get it on PS4. Okay. Because you own one. <laughs> yes. Uh, or you can get it on PC. I said that really PC. weird. <laughs> PC, I got stuck. Yeah. Um, and it, uh, it's like you a can pre-order it now. It's on Steam, GOG.com, or Humble Bundle. And it's fifty nine ninety nine for 
for yeah. the PS4 version and, and the PC yeah. version. There's also, for PC, an Explorer's Edition. Okay. And it's one of those special edition things. It's $149.99. A hun- wait, $149.99? $149.99, but it comes with a 135th scale hand-painted cast metal ship replica. It looks amazing. How big is it? It's one thirty. Like, I, I don't know. I only saw a picture, but I'm going to hold up my hand for all our listeners. Yeah. It's about that big. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. Guessing. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> and, and so... Oh man, it looks cool. I can see that sitting on my desk, but I I can't. It gets harder oh, and harder. Can, you for can't. Me. You can't say anything. Okay, I have you bought, cannot say I anything have, about buying no, a special I'm edition not, for a figure. I'm not slighting that. Uh-huh. I just can't see myself buying more collector's edition because I have bought so many in uh-huh. the past. Because my shelves and my you know stuff is just mm-hmm. sit collecting dust with yeah. all these random this things. This is a limited I don't edition. Even do. There's only ten thousand of these. Oh really? Yeah. There's only okay. ten thousand. But yeah, so if you're you're well, super it's like excited, the Halo you got a little bit Master of money Chief there. helmet was a limited edition. You could still buy those. The last time I was in Hastings. Yeah, but. I ended up buying. Well, Halo Three, I was. Yeah, uh, came up yeah. with a helmet. Yeah. I I I ended up buying it for like. Uh, you got it. Way I got it like night. Yeah, like seventy percent off or something. Yeah. Because uh, I bought it way later. Again. I don't uh, know. Uh, Special but editions cool. are great. Yeah. I enjoyed them. It I comes pro- with a pin. Like a little, uh, I don't You're know, excited a traveler's pen. pen. I like pens. Uh, pens yeah. are cool. You can put them on your bags and show off how cool you are. Um, um, cool. Right. So, yeah, No Man's Skies, June 21st. I'm probably going to pre-order it soon. Um, and I yeah. am just be drooling until it comes out. Yeah. Super excited about that. Okay. We've had some recommendations. Yes, from people, people have been uh, have talking suge- to us. Suggested some games that they we should play and maybe talk about. Yes. Uh, one of them is... Uh, it's called. I love this title. It's a great title. Yeah. Called "Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time." Yeah. And it's a a one or two player couch co op adventure game. It's yeah. One so, screen. Yeah. You yeah. can local co op. Yeah. You local can play co-op. together. And the, the basically is you're you're a couple on a battleship flying through space and fighting things and all kinds of colorful colors and yeah. oh it looks it's a beautiful looking yeah game. we watched the trailer and it looked a lot of fun it looks like a lot of fun i think it came out last year and uh it looks like a lot of fun we probably have to pick it up and check it out yeah yeah uh yeah and we'll, yeah we'll, we'll, that was recommended. And we'll, we'll you... probably try to play that at some point and then give and our and input on it and let y'all know what we think yeah the other one that was suggested to us was who's your daddy who's your daddy which is on pc yes uh, and it's a one v versus it's a one v one, one uh, and I don't really know much about it. I I yeah, I don't know a lot about it. it basically, I tried to avoid reading too yeah, much about it. Apparently, it's one person plays the father, and the, and the other first, person plays yeah. the baby. Yeah, the father is trying to death proof the house, while the baby's trying to kill itself. <laughs> basically, yeah, that's it, the premise of the game. And which sounds morbid and awesome and yeah it uh, sounds hilarious sounds really funny um and and we were told we should play it because we they wanted to hear they just to hear our reaction to it yeah like during play uh so it and this i think is a great time to talk about this but like we've been discussing doing let's plays like setting up a youtube channel channel and uh and do some let's plays which we wanted to do for a while we're still kind of on the fence of when we might start doing that and yeah. if and from when have there's a lot of stuff going on in our our own lives right now so we it kind of more time finding the balance of time yeah. and, and um, being so able to do it we'd like to do it it probably will eventually happen yeah this might be our first one yeah this may be have to be one that we will definitely it'll it's be an cheap early one too it, it's five bucks yeah so, so or four or something in like 4.99 yeah so together it costs us yeah, 10 so, bucks yeah to get so it. yeah so if we do do start doing let's plays this will probably be one of the first things on yeah. our list to try out so y'all oh. can actually watch us experience it for the first time yeah and uh so and so yeah if you and if you want us to you want to recommend something you want yeah. us to hear our comments on something please you know recommend a game or something you like or you just something you want us to hear our reaction on let yeah it, let it, please send us yeah. recommendations yeah let us know um you can email us you can also yeah. you can ask ask deaf deaf and dumb, dumb. Uh, at Gmail, yeah. it's at the top of our website, but you can click that. Also, the top of our website is a uh, link to our Twitter page, yeah, and, and our Facebook uh, Facebook page. page. So, so yeah, send us follow, a message, at, like all that stuff. Yeah, any any of those pages, you know, yeah, yeah, and send it to us, and we'll 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 read it. Yeah, we'll read it. Uh, it'll get to us, mm-hmm. and we will uh, either ignore it or 
respond okay. to it, which, you know, right now we kind of hard to ignore. We won't get a lot of stuff, but we will, uh, yeah. Uh, we're still uh, small. We're still small. So we're we're it's e- if you want to get on the ground floor of deaf and dumb, <laughs> this is the time to start. If you want to get our attention, now's yeah. the time. Now's the time. <laughs> uh, so if you want our attention, so it's, there's a tweet. It's easy to get oh. right now. And there are so many ways to do it. So yeah. it's uh, really easy. Whatever medium you, um, you prefer. I don't know if our wish list has grown much. Our wish list hasn't changed a lot. Um, Mine hasn't. Uh, uh, I put I this week I put a. Uh, uh, who's your daddy? Yeah, because I I'm really intrigued by this and mm-hmm. I really want to play mm-hmm. it. So that's kind of at the top of my list. Uh-huh. If I'm gonna buy something soon, it'll probably be that. Yeah. Uh, I also last week I had Prospect. Yeah, which but, I got. But you bought it this week. Yeah, I or bought just it this week. I bought it. Yeah, like yeah. yesterday or yeah. today, Friday maybe. I don't remember. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, I I, I bought it yesterday. And, and which is funny because I wanted to do it on my it was on my wish list mm-hmm. and then you bought it so i guess i don't have to yeah <laughs> i i i checked it out um uh, i'll just briefly say like it's really impressive that one guy made this game yeah we don't have a lot of time to go into talking about it but it's 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 kind of what you expect it's got yeah. a little bit of physics puzzles which some of them are a little simple and some of them i was just kind of going okay that all i had to do but it and it had it's a little bit of a slow start but I, it's it's fun. I mean, it's a little bit of taste of a little bit of more of stuff in Half Life yeah. in the Half Life Two world. But uh, I haven't finished it yet, so maybe maybe the end will surprise me. I don't know. Yeah. But and maybe you can talk about it more next. Yeah, week, maybe so. once I finish it, maybe we'll talk about it a little more. Yeah. Um, the and of course my wish list still has XCOM Two on it. XCOM, yep. Um, I I obviously have that I, on my I, list. I, as I well. really want to play it. Mm-hmm. I we'll see. I I don't know when I'll get to it. I'll get to it eventually. I'm not sure when it'll be. Um, it's just, it's $60. I, I, I yeah, on it. it's just hard to, yeah, games yeah. are expensive. Yeah. And, and the there's a lot game, of them. I've been looking at for a few weeks now and it's just been kind of sticking in my head. It's called hard West. It's on steam and it's basically XCOM in, in the wild West. Ooh. Yeah. And it looks fantastic. The art's fantastic. It's turn-based, it's RPG and it's, it's you know wild west gunfights and stuff. It looks really cool. I I, I that's about all I know about it, but I'm really intrigued by it. Okay, I think I'm it's twenty bucks it on Steam, so I may have to grab it. I, I'll have to check that out because mm-hmm. I did. You mentioned it to me earlier, and I'd yeah. never heard of it. Yeah, and uh, I I'm a big fan of westerns, and mm. I, I I like, like XCOM. Yeah. So I like turn based turn based strategy games a lot. Yes, I, uh, I do too. I like real time strategy games too. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh, well, we're pretty cool. we we like strategy games. Um, let's just put it that way. Yeah. Well, um, as let's wrap it up now. The yeah. um, please continue to share us. Uh, yeah, share tell your friends. Get us out there. Share us wherever you share things. Yeah. Twitter, uh, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Facebook, Reddit, whatever you do, whatever yeah. whatever tickles tickles your fancy. Um, and then follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And uh, you know, thank you very much for listening. And we'll keep doing this as long as people are listening. Yep. Yeah, uh, I'm Dan May, and I'm Dudley May, and uh, this has been Deaf and Dumb. <laughs>